I'm Ben. And I'm Kinsey. And this is NAC News. This week at North Andrew, track has been in full swing. Speaking of swing, baseball's started up too. Lily and Tegan will tell us all about that. As the end of the school year is approaching, North Andrew has been chugging along. Since Easter was on Sunday, we had no school on Monday. When we returned to school on Tuesday, FFA had district contests at Northwest. Also, it was election day for board members, and the high school track meet got canceled while high school baseball was postponed. Wednesday, baseball had a game against East Buck and district ag contest continued. Thursday, there was a high school baseball at St. Joe Christian, and Friday was senior cap and gown photos. The school play is on Saturday, so make sure to come and watch. They're putting on Matilda and have put in a lot of work. We interviewed Ben Roller about how the track season is going. He said, it's been off to a slow start as we have now had two meets canceled due to weather. But from the small sample size we've had, I think it's going to be a really successful season. I'm really looking forward to getting back out there and competing. Next week, junior high track has meetings on Monday and on Thursday, while high school track has meets on Tuesday and Friday. High school baseball has a game on Monday and a game at Albany on Thursday. Lastly, there will be a high school scholar bowl district tournament at Mound City on Saturday the 13th. Have a great weekend, Cardinals. I've been busy all week making a chocolate cake. Not a real one, though. It's a fake one for the school play. Maddie and Tucker have a story about that. It's that time of year again. The school play is in town. This year, North Andrew decided to do it over Matilda, and it was a junior musical. Many of the students from North Andrew participated in this event, and it was amazing. The cast of the musical did a very good job and gave a very good performance to our community. The starting time was 6.30 p.m. We also wanted to thank the staff for the musical, also, a huge thank you to everyone who helped backstage for the musical. We asked Miss Albers how she thought the musical went, and she said, I think the musical went really well. I was nervous for a while because we had so many snow days at the beginning of the semester. It definitely put our schedule back quite a bit, but the students worked really hard and pulled off an amazing and very hard show. Then we asked her what she was most proud of coming from our students in the musical. She said, I have a lot I am proud of. First, this is the hardest musical we have ever done. The musical is super tough, and the kids worked really hard to get every part down and memorized. Second, there were a lot of speaking parts in this musical. We had more speaking parts than we had mu music. Usually, we have the same character use the same mic all the time but I had to make up a mic sheet and let them know when they would have to switch mics and someone so that our main lines were heard. Third, there were a lot of moving parts with different scenes, tricks that also had to be pulled off, costume changes, and so much more. Every kid worked hard to uh, make sure that everything went smoothly. Fourth, we had quite a few new people who had never performed in a musical slash play before. A couple of them even had some very big parts. I am so proud of our new actors and actresses. Last of all, the students who put in extra work outside of rehearsals. We had parents and students who made all the letters that were hung around the stage for us. We had parents and students who made our dummy for the Amanda Tripe scene, and even a student who made our cake trick as well. We had a lot of help from parents and students so that Miss Wheeler and I could focus on other stuff as well. We couldn't have done it without them. 
There's going to be a bunch of crying going on at North Andrew next week. But it's not the students this time. It's the babies. Fax babies are back. Ashton and Trinity have got a story on that. The babies are back and better than ever. This year, Miss Neal has a smaller class for their her child development class. Child development is a class that high schoolers can take to see how important it is to be cautious in of your actions. Teen pregnancies is not a very rare in high school years. These babies show these young adults why it is important not to have children at this young age. Children are very expensive and need a lot of care, of care, and that is what most teens do not realize. These real care babies cry, burp, and sense so many things like a normal baby would. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Ben, and this was NAC News.